common mistakes we believers we make. People of God, listen to me carefully as I speak. I don't speak because I want to speak. I speak when the voice in my heart asks me to speak. Then I speak. Listen to the way I speak. I take my time to listen to the voice deep in me before I communicate. The Bible was written by holy men that were carried along by the Spirit of God. They gave out the mind of God so that he may guide us in the journey in him. People of God, listen carefully. Listen carefully to the way I speak. I speak from the throne of grace. Not as a prophet, not as any of the five calling, but as a believer, a child saved by grace. I don't need man approval to be real. I only need the grace of God to press on to the upward calling. Child of God, listen to me. When we pray, it is not the capacity, it is not the ability to communicate sweet word with our mouth. Prayer go hand in hand with the word of God. It is not how powerful we can speak in tongues. It is not how powerful we can display English language, French language, Arabic, Italian, Spanish. It is the ability to communicate with the Holy Spirit in us, which is the nature of God in man. How will I know this if I am not communicating the mind of the Spirit? This is a nobody no qualification but when I am speaking I speak because I am led by the Spirit to say what I am saying people of God when Jesus said if you believe in me and believe in this word you shall do greater exploit in other words if my word abide in you and you abide in it, you shall ask. He was indirectly telling us how to pray. People of God, if we want to pray and the word of God is far from our character, is far from our heart, it's far from our lifestyle, we are displaying action. We are acting drama. Listen to me. There is no way the Holy Spirit will remind you of anything if you are far from the Holy Book of God, which is the Holy Spirit that lives in the Holy Bible. When I say the Holy Bible, I don't mean literature book. The Holy Bible is the heart of man. When you pray that your enemy should die by fire, check if Jesus asks you to pray that your enemy should die. When you pray that your grandmother, your grandfather, your neighbor, your auntie, your uncle, your brother should die by fire, check if that is what God taught us in human flesh, in Jesus, how to pray. Listen to me. God honor his word more than his name. I clarify it. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Who was that God? Was it not Jesus, the human name that was given to him? And that name Jesus that we shout in the name of Jesus, it is just a quote of the confirmation that we have received the word and we are ready and we have applied the word 
Jesus, do your part. That is in the name of Jesus. He said, if you call in my name, my Father will honor it. Meaning, without his word, there is no prayer. Jesus is the word of God. That name Jesus means, Jesus, I have done my part. You do your own. In the beginning was the word John 1.1. 1, 1. Confirmation of that word. Go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Read. Let us make man in our image. Jesus and God. Let us make man. By the word. The word was made. Jesus went to the cross. In John chapter 17. Verse 5, 6 and 7. What did he do? Father, I have glorified you on earth. I have manifested your name to them, and they believe that I am from you. Give, glorify you me with the body I had with you before the world was made. What was that body? Was it different from the word of God? The word of God is what unite man to God. Without the word of God, without us acting in that word, we are not different from Lucifer. Don't be proud because you command things in the spirit and they obey you. Don't be proud because you can prophesy mystery and it happens. Don't be proud because spirit bow at the authority of that name. Be proud of the relationship you have gotten in him. Without a relationship in God, you are a nobody. We are not different from Satan. You think you are ordained? You think you are anointed? Check Lucifer. He was much more anointed than you can think. He was placed on the holy mountain of God. And he governs. And they call him today the prince of this world. And we can see the power which demonic, demonic people are using it today to perform what they are performing. And today we are proud. We stand on the pulpit. We are proud. We enter the house of God. We are proud because of those power that has been given to every human being. But yet our life is not different from that of Lucifer. Oh, Jesus said, bring our fruits, word of repentance. Do you know the fruits of repentance? It's a contrary spirit, a broken heart. If we are in that relationship and a line is not drawn between those in the world and those in Christ, we are not yet in that relationship. If they can see you, they look at you, they can't see the difference between you and those in the world. They can't differentiate you and those in the world. Check your life. You are still far from that life. We are the light of the world. We ought to make a difference. It was difficult even for the last day, last point of Jesus on earth to be differentiated by his disciples because of the lifestyle they adapted. That is why they had to use one of his beloved to betray him, to fulfill scriptures. He had to come and kiss Jesus to say this is Jesus. Meaning, the life of the apostles of old and that of Jesus was one. Today, what are we boasting about? What are we proud about? When what we demonstrate is not different from the life pattern of Satan. Jesus must be honored. Jesus must be honored. When we read Matthew chapter 10, verse 37, he said, If you love mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, serve more than me, you are not worthy. To follow me. A life of a Christian is one life for Jesus. That is why we are called Christians like Jesus. Separation should be one of the target. As a new believer, as those that have received that Christ. If those that knew you in the past see follow you today without rejection, Check the life you are going. Check the life you have accepted. It is not from God. Thank you.